Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Stephen Rowland here again, bringing you another raw review of another action figure. Uh, basically, what I mean by raw review is I do a one shot. Uh, don't do any editing. What you see in front of you is what you're going to get. So, hopefully you like it. If you don't, it's cool. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I like to talk about action figures. Anyway, today I've got NECA's uh, Gargoyles Goliath Ultimate action figure. And we're just going to get right into it. Uh, it's got a Velcro casing up front. Quick little box showing. That's how it looks inside. But anyway, we're not here to look at the packaging. We're here to look at the actual action figure. So we're going to open that up. Open that up. Oh, cool. It's got the little, oh, look, the scenario. Oh, okay. okay. So, apparently, the first thing I'm going to. Sorry, I don't want to wake up my two year old. First thing they pull out is his tail that it comes with. It doesn't come attached to the body. It does have articulation right there. It's red pegs in. And it's, oh, okay. I guess it's kind of almost like messing with an alien tail, but a little more firmer. Um, what we're going to do is first pull out all the accessories. Here's the extra head he comes with. That's obviously I'm pissed off. It's right there. Um, oh, Jesus. There's his wings. I hear those clicks. That's pegs in and everything else. I don't know if I'm going to put those on in this review, just so I don't break those. I might have to heat those up. Check out that. Look at all that detail. Oh my God. Actually, that's amazing detail. I don't know where I'm going to post this, or not post this, but put this figure up as far as displaying wise, but it's definitely going to take up some space. I mean, geez, you feel it. Right wing, left wing, hot, not political. Right wing, left wing, get it? Yeah, okay, I don't care. Um, anyway, look at the wingspan alone. It's got to fit probably like that. Um, comes with the, the book from the animated series. I hope, I hope you, some of you guys that are watching this have watched at least watched the, the animated series. If you haven't, uh, look it up. I believe it's on uh, Disney us right now I'll probably actually end up using this picture a lot or picture using this book a lot in different pictures not just with him um, it comes with a jalapeno obviously if you've watched the show you know what that is about it comes with two closed fists hands a lot of really good detail in it. Oh, that's nice. Man, they they really went all out. I can't wait to get the rest of this series because they're making a few more of those. Anyway, uh, they are, when you plug that in, it's just going to be an up and down thing. Probably just going to leave the hands that are in there in. And then it comes with this. I'm assuming you're going to put the jalapeno in this hand. Like that. Oh, hanger fell on. Put the jalapeno in the hand like that. And then let's. What we came here to see. And that is a lot of. so. Down. 
something is slowing him down. I don't know what it is. Take a look at the bad man himself right there, Goliath. Um, I got this figure from uh, Ageless Geeks, uh, my boy Alex Blas. I hope I said that last name right, B-L-A-S. Uh, anyway, he's a he's a really cool guy, great uh, great businessman, and he sells all sorts of different action figures. Actually, a good chunk of my collection has come from him and Ageless Geeks. Uh, so if you uh, are into stuff like this and everything else, or just like action figures and everything, check out his site. Uh, again, uh, that's uh, Ageless Geeks. Wow, this look at this figure, man. It definitely, uh, definitely worth the money and the wait for it to come out and everything. Here comes my wife again. Hi, baby. Uh, really good, uh, really good sculpt. Great articulation. Uh, I say that because I've seen it in different reviews and everything else. And uh, we can go over some of that. Arm rotates completely around. That's going to be both. Got a bicep uh, swivel. Pretty good. That's uh, almost a 90 degree articulation right there. I showed already showed that the hands are just an up and down, and they uh, they rotate. It's got two different heads. Let's see what kind of articulation up here. Oh, okay. Actually, I, I, that's almost better than the just uh, like the yeah, I like this and this one I like best after that is the uh, how uh, the G.I. Joe classified figures are I love how those are uh, the head part is articulated and everything else um, this is a really cool oh oh that's got a really good toy smoke I like that toy smoke um I kind of wish that this part here would have been more of a soft goods type material and everything else, but I do understand that that would have been probably added a, a few extra dollars to the cost. Got the tail put in real easy like. Um, tail put in real easy like, then fell right back out. We're going to put the wings in. Like I said, look at that that wingspan so I don't know where I'm gonna put them in I might put them in the battle scene up here behind me I don't know if you can see it no probably not uh, up here I got a really cool battle scene and everything else or I might just uh, end up designing another shelf excuse me while I pick up the toe uh, designing another shelf spot to uh, basically put him up in Upstairs or everything else. There we go. So, uh, wings make it really, really heavy. I don't know why his head sits down. Um, I know. I think I've seen that they have another, like a. I guess it comes with either a different figure or anything else, but it's more of a over the shoulder wings and everything else. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna pose him with his wings since they're so far out and make it so heavy. As you can tell I'm having a hard time making the figure stand like the way he's supposed to. I'll just sit there. Something I haven't been doing lately is doing a uh, He is right at about seven inches, of course, at the top of the wing. So just under an inch, or just under 12 inches right there. Um, overall, this is a really cool action figure and everything else. I'm gonna take the wings out. I'll put those back in later when I define, uh, decide to find a place to pose them. Um, I really, really, the sculpt is amazing. Uh, the articulation is really good. I like the, the belt design. Again, I wish this was a soft lids. I might try to find something on eBay, uh, heat this up, pop this off, and uh, put a soft goods uh, belt around it and everything else. Um, 
Yeah, it's just overall, it's just an amazing looking figure. I kind of hope they come out with a, uh, a uh, where it's got the like, where it looks like it's in the stone version and everything. Just make this all stoned look and everything else. Uh, I guess it would just be solid gray and everything else that way. And you can just find a good pose for it. And uh, that way, if you're into uh, to, to shooting pictures and stuff like that, you can just put it in uh, the solid pose or whatever and have it in that, that form uh, like they're in during the day. Um, if you've never seen the show, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But overall, it's a really, really good figure and everything else. I'm going to try and find a way to get them to stand up. And we're going to do a couple height comparisons and everything else. I figured this would be the best way to do it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Actually, I'm going to find a way to keep them in that, that exact pose and just pose them like that. Um, let's see. We're going to go with Hasbro's uh, Drizzt Du Erden. Definitely probably going to do some action uh, uh, photos with these two guys right here. Uh, we're going to do another Hasbro figure uh, roadblock. Um, that's a really good uh, height comparison right there. Here's a custom Dean Winchester figure. Uh, on a, a flint body from Hasbro. We've got the Mattel He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Like he's just towering over all of these figures, but he really actually can fit in every single one of these different categories and everything else and, and uh, work great with pictures. Uh, I'm gonna move Roadblock out of the way and put a uh, Mythic Legions, the uh, can't remember the Minotaur's name, but the Minotaur figure up uh, right there. Uh, don't knock it over. We're going to take these two guys out of the way. Put them over there. Okay, he can just stay right there. It doesn't matter. We're going to move He-Man over there. And we're going to move him over there. We're going to bring out another uh, NECA-made figure with the Phantom. And actually, I would love to see a... Uh, you know, uh, a collab with these two guys in a animated version, and everything, do something like uh, Defenders of the Earth and Gargoyles and stuff like that team up. That would be really cool. That figure actually looks really good. Uh, or even if you wanted to have them, because they have an evil version, the evil version, I can't remember the name of them, uh, coming out with this figure as well. Um, that would be really cool to have him fight the Phantom. And then you have... Uh, Zesray Studios, uh, Fight for Glory, Combatants, Gladiator figures. This has been kit bashed. Uh, the main figure under the helmet, he's broken a couple of times. And I took a Praetorian Guard extra figure I had of him, just going to be down, and uh, put him together so I can continue his journey and my action figure story. Here's another one of those. Uh, figures they fit really well you can have the gladiators fight uh, the gargoyle figures I'll set them right there and then the last figures I'm going to compare the height to oh wait the last figure is going to be a, not these but we're going to put some other NECA figures up in there and these are my predator uh, a couple of my predator collection uh, I love these figures uh, they're just amazing especially the newer versions and stuff like this but they're uh, they all fit they each each one of them actually hold on you can't really see me each one of them tower over <sighs> something broke but it didn't break where it can't just be put back together so no gorilla glue needed uh it's still good and everything just a little clumsy accident yeah, it's still good. Um, but they tower over this figure and everything else, but I guess that would be in reality. Also have something I plan on wanting to do with that um, when I get back into my Instagram uh, photography and everything else. But here is a Mezco Conan action figure, and that's what it would look like with that. I got some figure uh, pictures I plan on doing with that as well. Anyway, um, it's a really, really cool figure. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If not, you know, it's okay. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, I'm just not into editing and I get sidetracked and everything else. Mm. Average choice, man. Um, my main thing is just, I just like sharing my love of action figures and everything else. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, and uh, let me know if you'd like to see anything else. If you saw anything in the background uh, you want to have questions about, just free, feel free to ask. And uh, I'll be more than happy to do a review on. Or if you want to see a couple of videos on some kit bashes, just let me know. Hey, say, hey, show me some kit bash videos. And I'll show you the product of those. All right. Thank you. Have a good night.